It is Klein Tools Week on the channel. That's right. All week long, Keep On Testing is putting Klein Tools to the test. Insulation testers, multimeters, clamp meters, and a whole lot more. Real world results with test instruments made for the real world. Now, come on, everybody. Let's get some Klein on. And a huge Keep On Testing shout out to Klein Tools. Thanks so much for sending all this test gear in for these reviews. Today we're looking at the MM720, a true RMS digital multimeter from Klein Tools. Designed for electricians, techs, and I'd say the serious DIYers. Rated at Cat3 1000 volts, Cat4 600 volts. So on paper at least, you know, this one is built for some real electrical work. As always, Klein ships everything in that nice solid bubble wrap enclosure. You know what you're getting before you open it up? Good stuff. You get your really good Klein Tools bag. Definitely these are a cut above your average bag. I mean, look at the zipper on this thing. It is like heavy duty and it's not gonna, you know, fall apart after a couple of weeks on the job. And what's inside? Well, there you go. You get your Klein Tools manual and you get your test leads, thermal probe, and a set of batteries. Oh, so let's start off with that instruction manual. AC-DC volts, AC-DC current, up to 10 amps high current, 60 mega ohm in the resistance department, uh, does milliamps as well. Uh, True RMS, as I mentioned before, has that continuity feature. We'll take a look at that, of course, like we always do on Keep On Testing. Uh, the backlight, we have temperature. Nice to have a meter with temperature. You kind of need it when you're, you know, <laughs> in the HVAC biz, what have you. Auto ranging, of course. Uh, hold, data hold, dial test, capacitance. Now, the capacitance for me, right off the get-go, we're looking at 6 millifarad, 6,000 microfarad. So not the highest but uh, should be enough, hopefully, for most re real world uh, scenarios. Frequency as well, up to 500 kilohertz. Has your max min and auto power off. Once again, display count on this is sort of the atypical 6,000 count. And by the way, Klein is letting you know that yes, you can get an optional. Why is that optional, Klein? Uh, a suggested accessory is the hanging strap magnetic hanger. Always would have been nice if they'd throw something like that in, but. Anyway, test leads. I do like Klein test leads. By the way, those included test leads are standard uh, rubber style insulated test leads. Cat 3, Cat 4 safety cap rating. Uh, great for all around use. Not silicone though, but uh, they should do the job. If you want extra flexibility, of course, silicone is always better for those tight spaces. Uh, just something you might want to swap out eventually. Fairly pointy tip. If we take off, we lose the cat rating, but we do get that extra versatility. Of course, when you're checking out a PCB or you're doing some probing, you'd want to have these caps off because it's hard to get down and dirty with the caps on. But anyway, all around pretty decent. Nice thumb grips on them as well. Some pretty good flex here at the back of the test lead. So uh, yeah, not bad. When those test leads are in the meter, honestly, it's just a tad loose than I, I prefer to see it. I, I really like when they're, you know, I should be able to pull it out like that, but you can. So, you know, if you're an industrial site, uh, you don't want to be grabbing this thing by the test leads. So just, just a little loosey-goosey, but uh, it's okay. Looking at that selector switch, it doesn't have that clackety-clack, clickety-click. A little bit hard. So if you have gloves on as well, it's going to be hard to get in there because the grip is, is you know, you don't got a lot of play here with that selector. Um... All in all, not bad. Initial impressions on the meter, though, this thing is solid. There's no creaks, no cheapy plastic vibe going on. Pretty decent rotary dial. Perhaps I wish it was a tad bigger, a little tad deeper. Um, easy to land exactly where you want as well. I mean, just generally speaking, nice. Okay, let's turn on the meter. Now, this one, I have a ton of people ask me, Darren, how do I get the batteries into my multimeter? Good question. Simple. In this case, we have one Phillips screw right here at the top. We just undo that. I'm using my awesome Klein screwdriver, by the way. Love this set. Check out the review. Open it up. Bada boom, bada bing. And look at that. Easy, breezy access, not only to the battery housing, but to those fuses as well. Check it out. Gorgeous. So I am already impressed when you can get access to the fuses as quickly as that. Oh, that, my friends, is a good thing. So let's just put those batteries in like so. These are the included Klein batteries. Bada boom and bada bing. Two AAA batteries here. Once again, included with your Klein meter. And I just heard it turn on. 
when you put the th lid back in, you got to sort of just tilt it at a little bit of an angle just so that bottom here can hit the groove like so, and you're in. That was easy. Flip it over, bada boom, bada bang, and we are greeted with that gorgeous 6,000 count display. Oh my goodness, look at that. So sweet, very, very nice. Over the bottom of the meter, we have our high current input, low current microamps, milliamps, common or ground, and finally our positive input for volts, resistance, continuity, diode, capacitance, frequency, temperature. Whew, that was a mouthful. Top of the meter, we have five soft touch buttons, starting with the range, the rel, max min, hold, and of course our select switch. Maximum output and continuity, 74.9 decibels. Next up, DC volt accuracy. Got the precision reference out. Switch it over to DC volts. We hit that select switch once. You can see now the signifier goes from AC to DC. We are ready for some DC action. Start off with that 5 volts. Hey, look at that. 5 volts. Spot on. Let's try 10. Awfully close, 9.99 volts. High precision resistance right now with that lab resistor. 100 ohm is what we want. 100.6 is what we get. Not bad. Now we do have the rel option on this meter so we can put these probes together. See if we have any resistance on the leads. In this case, we have 0.1 of an ohm. Let's just hit rel. No more resistance. Let's do another check. So we're out just by 0.5 of an ohm thereabouts. Not bad. Taking a close look at that display, it is really easy on the eyes. So clear, so contrasty. Uh, perhaps subject to a bit more glare than normal because of the reverse EBTN nature of this display. That being said, I still think it looks great. By the way, in ambient temperature mode, you got to use your thermocouple. It will not take temperature without a thermocouple involved. Let's try that temperature sensor now. We have our positive and negative positive on this side. So temperature sensor, positive here, like so. We should see something coming up. There we are. And right now we are in Fahrenheit. I'm gonna switch it to Celsius because I'm in Canada. Okay, here we are with another meter and they're pretty well par for the course. Uh, I've checked a bunch of different sensors. They'll come in around uh, 20 to 21. So yeah, looking good. And high current amps sitting at 9.57. This has a 10 amp high current rating. Uh, I am going to increase that to 10 plus amps. Let's see if we have any sort of audible alarm. And indeed we do at the 10 amp, we are getting that audible alarm. We have a low and a high adjustment mode on the meter. Just hold down on that hold button. And you can see now we are in the brighter mode. Hold down on it again. And not quite as bright. Of course, that can take a little bit more battery, but uh, probably nothing to sweat. Outside in the cold Canadian winter, almost Arctic conditions today. Whoa, it's cold. Throwing that meter in the snow, giving it a good bang, cleaning off the display. Gonna keep testing it. Yeah, Klein tough. So you can see outside, that glare, it is measurable, but not that bad. Here we are on the inside. Teardown time. Oh, I like taking a look inside. Look at that nice captive threaded insert for that battery housing. And two gorgeous fuses, 800 milliamp and a large 10 amp on the high current side. Just pull off the top. And oh, look at that gorgeous underneath. Yes. Very, very nice. Now, as you can see here, let me just get this all straightened away. 
Look at that uh, nice plastic housing there. Good quality PVC. You can tell just by the way it's been cut here. Very, very nice solid we got some blast protection there on the sides overall it is pretty sweet solid now this is a klein thing can't quite figure out why but they always seem to have this on their climb meters that plastic housing looks like it's sort of etched so the battery uh springs the terminals can can make contact with the battery from the pcb it's an interesting way of doing things but they've been doing like this forever and uh, i guess it's not going to change anytime soon so yeah those little holes anyway yeah there you go so what do we start with well let's start by saying inside the mm720 the current measurement paths as you can tell and the uh the 10 amp the micro amp the milliamp all fuse protected so if there's any overcurrent well guess what you're safe 800 milliamp 1000 volt protection on the smaller current range 10 amp high current 1000 volt protection on the high current input means if you accidentally put too much current through the meter the fuses should interrupt that flow before things get nasty nice high powered resistor over there and those inputs are gorgeous not the cheapy solder type no those are screwed and threaded in look at that oh love it love it now that is quality and you're paying for quality here as well not just the klein name klein is quality I, i've always been impressed with this company they do a stand-up job i love it input uh, input impedance on this meter has 10 mega ohm input impedance so i mean what does that mean well from a safety standpoint just means it's going to limit the amount of current flowing into the meter uh so that is a good thing Another cool feature with this meter is the uh, meter's internal design actually uses double insulation. So this adds an extra layer of electrical isolation. Helps protect you from, I guess, shock, if you want to put it that way. Simply put, uh, if one layer fails, you've got another on standby. So uh, it, that's part of the Class 2 rating. Uh, and you can read up more on that stuff. But safety, definitely something Klein is concerned about. And look at that beautiful, beautiful component layout. Love it, love it. We're going to take a little bit closer look at that IC. It's the DM1106EN, the multimeter IC. Basically one of those all-in-one DMM ASICs, uh, application-specific ICs. Basically, it's the multimeter's brain. It handles the ADC, the measurement math, the range mode control, all that usual bunch of LCD driving and housekeeping logic, per se. Uh, definitely shows up in a lot of meters. Prosumer budget and everything in between also uses an external eep rom for calibration config uh, a lot of meters basically store calibration constants auto range thresholds tables and a small eep rom next to the uh, asic which is exactly what people like to hack hey why not anyway all in all very very nicely done and i gotta say attention to detail always klein goodness look at that look at the size of those fuses big hunky chunky fuses i'm loving it none of these glass toys no this is well well made all right let's put everything back together and keep on testing diode mode testing now Five out of five for dials, 3.2 volts in diode mode. Now, if you look at that display compared to the other Klein, what a difference, eh? I gotta say, I love that reverse EBTN. Oh, so easy on the eyes. Hey, this meter also features the low Z. Definitely can help you find that ghost voltage. Nice stuff. Here we are with AC current, 120 volts true rms all right now we're taking a look at a capacitance now this only has six millifarad six thousand microfarads for a capacitance hopefully that's going to be enough and it seems to be pretty accurate one microfarad coming in at 1.06 0 0.01 microfarad 10 nanofarad all looking good so for low capacitance meter seems to do quite well all in all i gotta say thus far i'm pretty impressed with this klein meter well made good attention to quality it's fast to range as well and take a quick look at the true rms we should be pulling in around 4.99 4.95 coming up excellente
lead input alarm letting you know put your test leads in the proper inputs all right we're going to take a quick look now at milliamps 100 milliamps is what we want with our high precision current input plug in those leads 100 is what we want that's what we get closing thoughts on the klein tools mm720 yeah i like it it fits that niche between home hobbyist and hvac electrical repair person if you know what i mean i tested this on household outlets control wiring low voltage electronics all the readings were stable consistent and repeatable there was nothing weird that happened no slow settings it just behaved exactly how a professional meter should klein didn't cheap out either in terms of safety we're talking proper input spacing decent internal protection clear category markings it's not a toy would i trust this on a live panel you're darn right, I would, 100%. With its rated limits, this is definitely a meter designed for electricians. What didn't I like? Well, you know, it didn't have logging, didn't have any fancy extras. And what really gets me is that LED indicator. Why didn't they use that for continuity? Sometimes in large industrial environments, you can't hear worth, you know what I mean? So having a visual continuity indicator just makes sense. Still in terms of overall solid safety, no nonsense operation. Hey, it's not flashy, might not be trendy, but got it, clients are dependable. And you know what? This is actually a pretty good looking meter. I think it's one of the best looking meters Klein has come out with. And I love that display. For me, it just works. The Klein MM720 gets a solid 3.5 out of five stars. Thanks for watching this review, everybody. More coming up on Klein Week. You know, it's a good one. Till the next one, keep on testing.